Welcome back everybody, it's Miss Visage here. So today we're gonna talk about how writers can develop a can-do independent attitude. And I'll tell you what that means, but first we're gonna review from our last lesson. So in our last lesson we learned about to imagine a character in your head. So think of your character that you wrote about in your writing. Got it? Mine's name is Gretchen, so I have a character and I named her. But you guys might have some boys in your story, so that's okay too. And then next, I imagined a place. Then I imagined trouble that my character would get into. So three things. But today's focus of our lesson is that I'm going to teach you that writers take charge of their own writing and give themselves orders. So they think about the work that they need to do next, and they almost whisper little assignments to themselves, such as, now I need to do this in my writing. And next I should add a detail about blank. You guys fill in the blanks for your own story. And you guys take charge. And I know you guys can do it. I've seen your books before. So, did you see how I worked out remembering how fiction gets readers started? Readers and writers started? Then I whispered some directions or orders to myself. It's like I was thinking... I'm in charge, so get started. You were helping me, so you'll be even better at this than I was. So, you guys help me all the time think of ideas for my writing. I saw the feedback that you put in your writing on Seesaw, and that made me go even further in mine. It made me want to progress. And progress just means move forward and make my story better and better. And you know that a good writer is always working on making their story more detailed. Even if it's not just your writing, but if it's also your pictures. So, some of you may have the first book, like I have my little notebook piece of paper that I wrote on, and some of you may be even starting other stories too. It doesn't mean you're done with them, but sometimes we just start multiple books at a time. So. You may have already started a sentence for your realistic fiction, but what comes next? Not what would you write next, but what would you do next? Think for a moment of a couple of orders you might whisper to yourself that will help you keep going independently. So independently means just you. No help from me, no help from Mrs. Hickel, no help from your parents. What can you do to make yourself a better writer? All right, pause the video and think of some things that you can do to be a better writer. All right. Are you back? Good. What did you talk about? You, could, you might have just said it to yourself. You might have said it to a parent if they were in the same room as you. But I know that you guys thought of pretty great ideas. So some ideas that you might have said that you will get a paper with a lot of lines and I love that. You may get a whole new sheet of paper so you can continue your story. That's independent. Some of you are saying that you can set a goal to finish the book in one day. I bet you are and I know a lot of you can do it too. Some of you realize that you have to get your character in place and facing some trouble and that's great. That's all moving, moving along in your story, and I'm so proud of you. So, make sure that when you add to your story, it doesn't have to be the same story. You can write a new one, but we will eventually go back to this first story that we were writing. So, make sure that it's your time to show off. It's your time to show off and brag about your writing and how good you are. I'm going to admire you as you give yourself directions. When you feel like you need some help, first think about what you know and try whispering to yourself. Like, oh, well, I filled up this whole page. I did a really good job. But you can get another page and just keep on writing, right? Give yourself orders often and it keeps your engine going as a writer. So think of those things that you can whisper to yourself and tell me it on Seesaw. So make sure to seesaw all the things that you can tell yourself to progress as a writer. I want to know what they are. They'll help me as a writer too, and your classmates. So seesaw and let me know. Thanks for watching.